Good morning, everybody. How you doing after a long weekend and a crazy Friday in the market? Yipers. Let's see. Let's make sure there's sound. Chart. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Peter. Joe. Bob. Admin. <laughs> Test one, two. Let's make sure there's sound. Ah, thanks, John. Appreciate it. Okay, so um, I want to stop here on this stock really quick here. I was just thumbing through some charts. Um, in pre-market, I always have this scanner running, and I always, I always have it set to pre-market. Um, th this started coming up on a three-bar chart, rounded bottom breakout, and I thought it was pretty nice-looking chart here. Uh, it's not... It's not on the uh, morning blog watch list. It's just something I found afterwards. We've had a nice little downtrend here uh, that has broken out. We're above that 50. Great rounded bottom breakout uh, on that three-bar chart. Uh, about 16% to the 200. If we take a look at the daily, look at that daily. That looks pretty nice. And you might get that run up there to that 50-period moving average. So just wanted to point that out. All righty. <laughs> wasn't Friday, wasn't Friday something? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, overall, I kind of think that Friday was a bit overbaked. I, I think it was a bit, oh, panic. So, I, I'm not sure world's coming to an end here. Not yet. Let's see what today does. Uh, ultimately, I think if you look at the SPY here, ultimately, you could pretty much look right through this area here and say, okay, there's some, there's some resistance right through there. If you wanted to even drop it down, we've cut through some of that already. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I kind of want today. Let's see what today does. There's some stocks that look good. This may be a, a terrific time to pick up some things that are uh, down for no good reason. Absolutely no good reason. Um, so I, Friday was a, it, it was, it was a, it, well, it was just crazy. But those things happen. So as far as the SPY goes, uh, back over 466, I think we're back in this area right here, which Last week, I called this area here uh, like a boat with holes in it. And you're out in the great big ocean. And the holes can be plugged, but be careful. There are sharks out there. So, looks like we're headed back into that, that, that rickety, I think rickety was the word, rickety boat right in here. Long as we stay in that area, I, I think the buyers are beating the... Um, the sellers, uh, but every now and then the sellers gets a punch in. Uh, TGS says the weekly. Yeah, weekly, all we did was a little bit of downside on that daily. And, you know, there's a, I, I don't use one minute or two minute or three minute or five minute charts because they're too exaggerated and it just makes me go bonkers. I can't, I can't, I can't handle that kind of exaggeration. And the daily is like that to the weekly. It, there's a lot of exaggeration on the daily. Um, and when you go to those longer charts, it kind of cleans it up, but you get that exaggeration. So, and, and that's really what I think has happened here. But the proof will be, let's see how everything rolls. may take a, a day or two just to see what happens. But right now it looks like we're coming back. So PDL looks like a nice chart here. Uh, we've got a nice strong trend. Um, had a little bit of a problem Friday like a whole lot of stocks did. We're coming back up. We're back into that trap area. I'm seeing 164 up there. You know, around 7 to 8% move uh, for a swing trade maybe on this one. Just looking at this chart, I, I think it's pretty easy to to put, you know, those stops in where you wouldn't like it. It just it just amount um, um, it's it just a matter of where you wouldn't like the chart, and we we can clearly see the chart is still 
trending. So eh, eh, I, there's 70 people in here right now. Um, 70 people could put their trend line in 70 different places, maybe even 72 different places. It's crazy. But just look at that chart. So where would you not like it? Well, might not like it if it gets below that trend line. Uh, if you want something horizontal, go in there and look where you have lots of touches. Look at that. That flat top touches, bottom touches. So below that 150.40, well, might not be the trade uh, that you were looking for. Take a look at ON. ON had a nice little pullback here. Friday, to tell you the truth, didn't hurt ON at all. Um, just put a little doji in here. Pre-market, we've got a little bullish engulf in there. Um, now, I do think on this one that we probably just need to be aware. Whoops, no, it's not what I wanted. There we go. You know, we, we need to be aware of that right there. Um, possible head and shoulders up there. We might possibly run into some resistance. We've got this uh, wick up here that pulled back. We did break out, and then we came back below that line. So we need to get through that area. So right here, I would say above 6170 might get us up into the 72 area for a, um, for a nice little swing up in there. DVN is another one that I think uh, is setting up. Friday, we had the big move down like you know a lot of stocks had. And then it ended up hammering in here. Today, we're back up above that T-line. And speaking of the T-line, you know, one of the greatest, I, I think it is, one of the greatest things that um, I can see in a chart for it is just utilizing that T-line. It, it's a swing trader's perfect moving average, if you ask me. For those that don't know, the T-line is nothing more than the eight exponential moving average. That's simple. But to me, it's, 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 it's a swing trader's dream because a swing trader, well, a, a swing trader, you know, they want, they want to get in a chart and get that swing. And um, whether the swing is that long or this long, or maybe, maybe the swing starts here and swings up like that. Um, whenever a chart swings, in an upward direction, you'll find that it's always above the T-line. And many times a stock will come back and touch the T-line and continue that swing up. So why do I like this chart? Well, because it's over the T-line. Where would I not like this chart? Below the T-line here. So uh, right now, it looks like it's just moving sideways, consolidation, I don't know that there's any big bull winner, certainly not a big bear winner. Um, maybe this is not a trade for somebody. Maybe somebody wants to wait till it breaks out. I get it. Um, we're, we're all just trying to negotiate an entry. Some people get it cheaper. Some people have to pay a little more for it. Welcome to trading. And then I'm looking for 51 up here. Sorry, I had to have another drink of coffee. Okay, how can we not go into this market without PFE or some sort of drug manufacturer with this new problem we've got out there? Um, PFE, uh, I think if we come over here and take PFE, we've got this top. We've got a nice little breakout here. Here's a terrific, terrific looking cup. I'm going to go ahead and call that a handle right there. You know, we want to negotiate an entry. I, the, I I get emails and notes from people all the time. Well, where do you buy this? Where do you enter this? That, that, that is not the only question that can be answered because each individual trader must, I want to capitalize the word must here, must have a trading plan. The trading plan can be as simple as, okay, 
I'm going to buy it at 52.25. Well, where's the rest of your plan? Like, where are you going to put that stop? Long as you have that combination and the chart is trending, you've got the basics of trading. Um, you know, I, I don't think I'd be paying up here for it. But th there's, there's, you know, the, the big question is always where do I enter it? Entering it is probably the smallest decision of all. The largest decision is where are you going to put your stop? Real simple. Why do you like this chart? Let's get rid of all that. Why do you like this chart? Let's start with it gapped up and it held. Yes, it did. Held well. So if it breaks out of the holding candle, which is this doji right here, that becomes bullish. I'm setting a plan, by the way. Where would you not like this chart? Well, if we had follow through, if it came back down below that candles, the, can, the, the follow through candles low, that might tell me the sellers are taking control right there. There you go. Just like that. So the, the question is not always, where do I buy this? I, I don't get this from people in here, okay? I'm not, uh, no one here. Uh, but everybody out, else out there, they, it seems like that's all they want to know is where to enter it. You've got to know where you, where you don't like the stock. And uh, so anyway, there's a, a plan set up for uh, PFE. Uh, I like HPQ here. Why? Well, it broke out. And it held. It held. So Friday, I think we held up extremely well. So maybe something to think that I might think about here is HPQ with the stop just ever so slightly below 34, 43. I'm, I'm talking pennies. Because if it starts moving back down below that, then there's too much of a risk to head down into this area right there. I don't want that risk. I don't want I don't think anybody wants that risk. Not a not a swing trader anyway. Not a swing trader. So this might be a good place to you know to look at a stop, a buy. We break out over uh, Friday's candle. Uh, it can be bought in this area as well. That's perfectly fine. That that makes the, the buy a little sharper. Still have the stop on it. Where would we not like this chart? Um, this Lucid, I think we need to put this back on the, uh, which it's always been on our watch list here, but I think it's uh, looking kind of interesting here, uh, mostly because it's got this uh, flag going on. I like that flag right there. And then... Um, we're going to put a line at these tops. It meets with this candle, this candle, this candle. You get some touches in there. So we have a nice flag setting up. Some traders are going to buy inside the flag. Some traders are going to buy outside the flag. All traders that do that, I think, are doing a smart thing. We're just negotiating for an entry to that next target, and the next target would be these highs over here, about 62.85. KR. So I took Thursday. Well, we all took Thursday off, I guess. Um, I also took Friday off, but I did uh, open my computer up and just check the market pre-market. And I did buy some KR Friday. Um, if I had any good sense, I would have just day traded it. I did get it pretty good in here. Uh, was up pretty well at the high, but I did not. I went off and did my Friday thing, took off, like I said. So here we are, um, nice little doji here. Thanks, uh, Sean's pointing out earnings in a few days, so uh, keep that in mind. We've got a 3H trap here. Uh, I like this chart because of uh, the trend here. Uh, I like the chart because of the rally up. Um, the pullback, and here we are moving up. I like the bottom. I like the up, the sideways, that sort of thing. Um, I like the 
inverted head and shoulders. Let's see what other color can I use? Uh, let's use black. Inverted head and shoulders right through there. Shoulder and then head, shoulder right there. Uh, I like that. If you look at it on a big picture, we've got a pretty nice cup being drawn in here. So, um, like I said, I bought this. I'm not, you know, I, 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 I can't say whether I'm going to hold it through earnings. There's probably a 99% chance that I'm not, but you never know about these things. Uh, so it just needs to pop up. We're here to make money. That, that's what we're here to do. So when you get some money, make sure you protect it however you protect your money. So, so anyway, um, here, there's the market. Um, today, may be, today may be really uh, jumpy, might be a little too jumpy for some folks. Be careful not to chase. Uh, today, might, today might be one of these days, especially for me, where I, um, I kind of cool my heels till we find out what's going on here. And then later today, there might be some really good buys. If the market continues to hold well, if the buyers are truly coming in, then, you know, before the close, that last hour of the day can become a terrific, terrific time of day, picking up some nice stocks that are holding up well. Remember, we never have to buy the bottom. You never, ever, ever, ever have to buy, and I'm just going to use a bullish in golf, okay? You never, ever, ever have to buy a bullish in golf. Um, if you think this is going to move up, then, you know, in, in the candle world, it, it's about follow through. So the trade is not the bullish in golf. It's what comes after the bullish in golf. So keep that in mind. We don't have to chase today. All right. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, we're pretty close to December. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, the last month of the year. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I, this weekend, I was wondering where in the world my, my year went to. And uh, insane. Totally insane. Anyway, we'll see everybody here in a few minutes. Get the market open. Have some fun today. Drink some more coffee. Eat some eggs. Bacon. And uh, I'll see you a bit. All right. Thank you very much, everyone.